Hello and welcome to lesson 10.2. Today we're going to look at areas of triangles and trapezoids. So we will be finding the areas of both triangles and trapezoids in today's video. Back in section 10.1 we talked about how to find the area of a parallelogram. Well if you look at a parallelogram and you can see that we have three different parallelograms down here at the bottom. If you divide your parallelogram from one diagonal to another. So you can see that we took this parallelogram and divided it from one corner to the other. We did the same thing with this one and the same thing with this one. You should notice that you get two congruent and congruent means the same triangles. So if we know how to find the area of a parallelogram, then we should be able to find the area of a triangle because we know that the triangle is going to be half of that. So the area of a parallelogram, remember, was equal to base times height. When we look at the area of a triangle, we know that we can take our parallelogram, so the area of the base times height, and we can divide it in two or multiply it by one half. So as you'll see here in a minute, the area of a triangle is going to be one half times the base times the height, okay? And um, the altitude, just as it was before, you're gonna hear that term here. The altitude of a triangle is the perpendicular segment from the vertex of a triangle. So notice vertex is those, are those corners there, okay? And it goes down to the line containing the opposite side. So that is what forms the height of our triangle. And just to look at like the textbook defini definition here, it says the area of a triangle equals half the product of any base length, base length here, um, and the corresponding height, just like this. Or if you want to look at it in equation form, the area of a triangle is one half base height. And this is one of those formulas that I highly suggest that you memorize. So let's go ahead and see how this applies. For example one, it says to find the area of the triangle. Well, the area of our triangle, remember, is going to be equal to one half times the base times the height. So the one half stays the same. My base, in this case, is going to be eight centimeters. And my height, you can see, is given right here on the inside of three centimeters. So ultimately, I end up with 1 half times 24 centimeters squared, and half of 24 is 12. And again, because we are dealing with an area, the units have to be squared. And that's honestly all there is to finding the area of a triangle. So example two then says, how much siding does a builder need to cover the side of the house shown? So what you have to know about siding is, even though this house has a couple windows cut out of it, you still have to buy the siding in full lengths. Okay, so we just need to find the area that needs to be covered of the house, kind of pretending that the windows aren't there. So as you can see in this picture, we actually have two different shapes. We have our base of the house right here, which is a rectangle. So we're gonna to have to find the area of a rectangle. And then we have the roof portion of it, which is a triangle, which means we're gonna to have to find the area of a triangle. So the area of the rectangle, remember, is base times height or length times width. So here, our base is 16 feet and our height is 10 feet. So when I multiply those together, we get 160 square feet. And then the area of a triangle is 1 half base height, which means I have 1 half times my base. Well, the base of this triangle right here is the same as the base of the rectangle. So that's going to be 16 feet. And then the height of our triangle we can see right here, and that's going to be this nine feet. So if I multiply these, I end up with one half times 
16 times 9, 144 square feet. And that's going to give us 72 square feet. So I have the area of my roof line and I have the area of the kind of the downstairs floor. So what I have to do now is I just have to add those two areas together. So I have 160 square feet plus 72 square feet. And that's going to give us 232 square feet of siding. That's how much siding will be needed to side that house. For example three, we're gonna find the area of the shaded region. And again, if you notice, we can break this up into two different pieces. We have a square, so we have to find the area of a square, which is essentially a rectangle or a parallelogram. And we're gonna have to find the area of this triangle here. So the area of our square is going to be base times height, which in this case is four yards times four yards, which gives us 16 yards squared. And then the area of our triangle is going to equal one half base height, which equals one half times the base, which is four yards times the height, which is also four yards. So when I multiply this, we get one half times 16 yards squared, or I end up with eight square yards. Okay, so then to find the total area, I'm just gonna take the 16 yards squared and add that to the eight yards squared and this will give us 24 square yards will be the area of that shaded region. Now the next thing we're gonna look at is the area of what we call a trapezoid, okay? And this is trapezoid A, B, C, D. So this is the shape of a trapezoid. Now one thing that you should notice is with this trapezoid, we can divide that trapezoid by going from A to C and cutting this across it as a diagonal. Okay, if we divide that from A to C, we actually end up with two triangles. We have triangle number one and triangle number two. So we could go ahead and find the areas of these two triangles. So the area of triangle number one is one half base times height. So when I go to find that area, we have one half. My base is going to be the nine centimeters. So I have nine centimeters times my height, which is going to be the four centimeters. So this gives me one half of 36 centimeters squared equals 18 square centimeters. Then we can find the area of triangle number two, and remember two is this triangle here. So this is gonna be one half times our base, so my base on this one is gonna be the six centimeters, times our height, height is still four, so this gives us one half times 24 centimeters squared, which is going to give us 12 centimeters squared. And then if I wanted to find the total area, just like we've been doing all along, I'm gonna write area is equal to 18 centimeters squared plus 12 centimeters squared, or I end up with 30 square centimeters. So this right here is one way that I could find the area. Or we can go ahead and come up with our own formula. If you notice, in both formulas, okay, so the area of a trapezoid, and I'll put trap for trapezoid, both of them utilize the one half. Okay, so this is gonna be one half. Now, the triangle number one 
used a different base because it used the 9. So that used base 1, we'll say, and it used a height. Then we added that to the second triangle, which used the 1 half. But in this case, it used a base of 6, or base 2, and it still used the same height of 4, so we're going to call that h. So what we can do is we can simplify this equation one more time, and I can just take out the things that are different. Okay, so I have a base 1 here and a base 2 there. Everything else is the same in both of these. So I have 1 half times the height times the sum of base 1 plus base 2. Now this isn't anything that you're going to have to prove right now, but I wanted to show you how they come up with the equation. Because when you look at the true definition for the area of a trapezoid, it says the area of a trapezoid is half the product of the height and the sum of the lengths of the bases. So this right here is what we actually just found on that last slide. So ultimately, it's 1 half times the height, and then you're going to multiply that by the sum of base 1 plus base 2. Let's go ahead and see how this works. For our last example, it says the Erie Canal opened in 1825 and was hailed as the engineering marvel. Below is a cross section of the Erie Canal. We have to find the area of the trapezoidal cross section. So area is equal to one half times the height times the sum of the two bases. And it doesn't matter what you call base one or base two. So I'm just gonna call this base one. This down here, I'm gonna call base two. And this four feet deep right here is my height. So as long as you can find all the pieces, all we have to do is plug it in. So I have one half times my height, which we said was four feet, times the sum of the bases. So I have 40 feet plus 28 feet. So this is gonna give me, and I'm just gonna do this half of four. So this will give me two feet times 40 plus 28 is 68 feet. And when I multiply these together, 2 times 68 will give us 136 square feet. Again, even though it's a trapezoid, because we're doing area, your unit has to be squared feet. And that's going to conclude our 10.2 video. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.